We're going to be uh, demonstrating our UV cold cure or cold cure UV product. Right there. The reason we call it cold cure is even with the exotherm, you won't get temperatures above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a four inch glass reinforced fiberglass tubing. It's a single part resin, so it's not affected by either hot or cold. The only thing that'll actually cure it off is the light from this 110 volt unit. So the guys are gonna go ahead and push this in place. This is four inch liner, glass reinforced liner that's gonna extend out one full pipe size from a four inch up to the six inch. Makes a beautiful smooth transition. The way that it's woven, even though it's gonna go 50% larger than its original size, it's not gonna lose any thickness. The final thickness will be the same on the six inch as on the four due to the integrated weave. All right, once they're in position, we've got an air up sequence to allow it to have time to stretch. If you watch the acrylic pipe there, you'll see the tape pop and watch it expand. If there were a 90 in this, we would actually take it right back down to zero for a couple of minutes and then pull it back up again. You can push or pull in place this system. There's an integrated push rod as well as dual power sources on the actual unit so it feeds power from both ends of the light core. This last four to six transition is being done with uh, the UV liner. The rest of this has been done and put in place with our pull in place new drain CIPP. This is four inch new drain CIPP. This, is, this was done earlier yesterday. This is our two inch pull in place CIPP. You'll notice that we've stopped short both down here as far as gapping down here as well as gapping here because later on this afternoon, we're gonna push in place a connection collar that will actually wrap this four inch main and, go, and invert the two inch right up and over top of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our first safety switch. So now the lights are activated, but they're not on. Press the second one. This does two things. It starts the lights, obviously you can see them there. That the curing process has now started. It also starts a 10 minute timer, okay? When this timer counts right down to zero, the lights go off all by themselves. You don't have to do anything to it. It reads out the number of amps it's drawing as well as the number of volts that you're using. This side of the board matches that side of the board. And this one was done prior to coming to the show. As you can see here, where our mainline liner stops and this next one starts, there's a slight bit of an overlap, but that's very minimal compared to if you were lining right through and reinstating. Here's where we're going down and around the 90. We do address the 90 slightly different than we would in a straight pipe. We try and score on the inside, score on the outside of the bend so we can push out to the outside of the bend so we don't have any angular space out here. And this is the four to six transitional UV liner. Once again, they're just nicely overlapped. There's a double 45, there's the four inch, and just like that, he's up and over and into the six inch. I like both of these. I like the pull in place drain. It has its place. If it's 40 degrees out, they may have to be in overnight. You might have to use like hot water or hot moist air or steam. Either way, once A meets B, you're on the clock. There's 100 feet of umbilical on here. And as I pointed out before, that's a 33 foot light course. So technically, you could do almost 270 feet in a straight line access to access point if needed be. And there we go. It shut off. Lights turned off. Hit our timer. It shut this off. Now I'm going to deflate. I wait till this valve stops hissing because I don't want to cause an airlock in the system. <laughs> see that? There we go. Now switch it to vacuum. As you can see, there's a gauge back here that shows vacuum. I can do it by sound, but there is actually a gauge to tell you when it's sucked flat. These light cores are reusable. Okay, you can use these many, many times, and actually this bladder configuration here is also reusable. We immediately do a light test and then an air check. And then, nope, there we are. We'll do a light test and an air check. You can load up your next length of liner and pop it right back in again. 
And then Michael here is going to go ahead and push the camera inside that newly lined pipe. Let's see what we got, Mike. All right, so there's our four to six transition you can see there. Now that is four inch glass reinforced tube that has been stretched from four inch to six inch. And again, you don't lose any thickness when that happens. You've got the same thickness. You've got the same structural strength. Okay, it's going up to the 45s. And see right there, hold it right there, Michael. Right there where that blank spot is, that's where we're gonna be inserting our two inch on four inch connection liner at 2.30 this afternoon, right there in that spot. That's it, thank you, we'll see you at 2.30.